All right, gang, as promised, this is Coach Nate with the Blade Fit Academy, and I wanted to show you um, the culmination of my project here. So I've got these two shields, uh, part of the Echo. This is just a quick vid on my on my cell phone. And so, yeah, there they are. These are <clears throat> birch plywood. Uh, there's, there's two stacks of quarter-inch plywood uh, glued in the middle, <clears throat> and they are bowed. Um, this one, not as much as this one, so they do have a curve to them. I do have the liner on on both of them, the, the edging liner, and, uh, wow, what can I say? I I, uh, I like them. I like them a lot, and I can't wait to use these guys. So these are going to be for um, our HEMA club, and we do have a kids club as well, um, but obviously this is, this is not for kids. We use... Um, we use softer shields for um, our youth program. So really quickly, I wanted to show, well the lighting's terrible, but I wanted to show the the way that I uh, attach this here. We got some rope uh, on the inside, so it, it has a little a little bit of give on this thing. Let me try it up here. These are just set on the chairs, guys. So yeah, there's, there's a slight amount of give. Um, not much, it's not soft by any means, but at least it's, it's more than just a plank of wood. So uh, we can see these things running um, horizontal. Uh, well, okay, from, from the edge to the center, they're stacked, the holes on the inside are stacked one on top of each other. And on these ones here, I, I changed the design. Um, I put it a horizontal, right here. I put on a horizontal um, grouping of, uh, of holes for the stitching. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I liked how it turned out a lot more on this shield. This one is adequate. It just kind of kicked my butt doing it, uh, way too many hours getting that done, but it looks great. It, it's solid. Uh, this one looks a little bit better. Anyway, this might not be an interesting video to you guys, but uh, I just, I just wanted to, <clears throat> and the filming quality is crappy, mind you, but I, I just wanted to show you what I did with these shields. And I uh, can't wait to to show the, the performance of these guys. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so the next step, of course, is getting the hardware on the back of these. See, um, and I did these sort of quasi-authentic. See, the, oh yeah, the back of the stitching, you can see, since they run um, vertical, there's kind of like this zigzag pattern. But on this one... I think it's a cleaner look. It just runs straight across. And these things, it, it they're not, it, it was, how do I say this? It was easy to, to, to just leave that on there, guys, because I didn't feel like every single time, um, you know, stringing a pair, I, I didn't want to put some new thread on a needle, so I just kept going. Anyway, it looks fine. Um, it doesn't affect the stitch. Now, you'll notice here, though, um, every time I used fishing wire instead of uh, instead of upholstery thread, um, I thought it might be tougher. But the problem is, is whenever I tied it off, you have these annoying little um, things that might catch your clothes or maybe stab you if you hit it wrong. Um, so I just put a little dab of a uh, of a uh, hot glue on those. There's there's not too many of them. Um, and same with same with here. But uh, anyway, these are my first pair that I did, and I just thought that. Uh, <clears throat> that uh, you know, you just you just do it, guys. You get the experience under your belt, and then you do it again. So next step is to put on the hardware, put on the straps uh, on this shield here. I don't know if you can see, but I've kind of marked where I'm gonna where I'm gonna put the straps. I think I've got to change it slightly on this one, and then uh, on this one as well. Um, you can see on the on the back end, I did use a uh, a muslin uh, over the birch wood, and I did. Uh, use wood glue to glue it on there <clears throat> and uh, on this side the paint um, it's it's painted over that uh, that muslin so it's it's interesting interesting how it looks I've got a lot of plans uh, to do different shield designs and whatnot for the club and um, for anyone else who's interested in maybe uh, me making one for them um, I'm up for that I, I've got all the tooling now so I'm happy to do it, um, but anyway, I want to experiment with these first and uh, really dial it in. 
Uh, this video is way too long, guys. This is Coach Nate McBride. Always remember to slay your demons, and remember, this is awesome. Catch you next time.